this is the area we are we've prepared we've prepared our land to start our um, castor bean project it's on one acre piece of land and we managed to get some people to come and help us to prepare uh, the land to plant the seeds and to do what we need to do and the drums and the buckets that are here we are using that we are going to use them to um, water the seeds we've been hoping that it will rain today that we may not have to water the plant the, the the seeds but it looks like we are going to have to water the seeds today which is not a problem it's a good experience we've never done this before and uh, we hope it's going to be fruitful and we hope that we are going it's going to yield to the maximum This is a, what can I say, a Muzina Prazi. She's the farmer herself. Um, she looks very happy. And hopefully the crops are going to make her happy as well. And the piece of land that has been prepared we were hoping that it will be it will be one hectare exactly, but it looks like uh, the land that has been uh, ploughed is is just short of a hectare. But as as it is a pilot project, let's hope it's going to be okay. I just want to go closer to where the seeds are and to where the fertilizer is. Um. So you can see, it looks like we've got more seeds than land. We've got more seeds. The seeds that we were given to feed a hectare are going to be much, much more than the land that we have prepared. So we don't know what to do because the seeds have been dipped in water. So it's not like we can use them any other day. But let's wait and see. Nothing is a waste. So this is the seed. The custard bean seed. Once we plant these seeds, we plant just one seed per hole. We've been digging holes. I don't know whether you can see a hole just there. Where I've put that seed and with the seeds we are also applying fertilizers that's the fertilizer it's like cake fertilizer so that's what we are applying in each hole before we plant the seed That's Mr. Gwedge's homestead over there. And I'll show you where the boys are preparing to get water from. Let's hope it works. They've got a water pump. They've managed to get some pipes. Uh, They're hoping to get water just from there where the banana tree is they're hoping to get some water from there and bring it over put it in the drum and then we are going to use the buckets and we've got some cups each hole where the seed is must be watered by 200 mils so hopefully this cup is equivalent of 200 mils so it will just be water and pour water and pour these are the pipes 
which they are hoping to get the water from the well at the moment the water is coming from a well we've not sunk a ball yet but hopefully next week we will get some sprinklers um, and we'll water the field that way yeah the guys are just preparing for the water to pump the water from the well just there I'll show you I'm just taking a video, I hope you don't mind. So that's the water pump. What are you putting in the water? What for? I thought you put diesel. Uh, no, it's like a training water. Oh. Oh, really? Right. We learn every day. So I'm just being told that the water pump, for the in order for the water pump to uh, suck the water from the well, priming water has to be put in the pump first. So that's what Kura is doing. It's a nice banana tree over there. And this is the well at the moment that we are going to get the water from this well has not been in use for years um, so we are going to try to make make use of it now hopefully also we are going to sink a bowl and then water from another bowl yeah, so that's this project for now. That's where we are at now. Hopefully we will give you feedback. We'll be able to show you a video of when the plants have come up, have germinated, and hopefully we'll be able to bring you back more feedback when we've harvested so like i said in the beginning the plant that we are planning to what that we've just started farming is called castor beans castor beans makes castor oil which is used for a variety of things including um some cosmetic products, so cosmetics products, and biodiesel. It is also the castor, the oil from the castor beans is also used in in industries. You know, I don't know processing of metals, of aluminiums, all different kinds of metals. They use castor oil. So hopefully, for now, we are just planning to farm the plants, harvest and sell to um, castor bean dealers in Zimbabwe. But in the future, we are planning to value add. We are planning to make the castor oil ourselves. We are planning to um, make the cosmetics that are made from the castor beans, lip balms, hair oils, skin oils, uh, you name it. And hopefully we'll be able to get some partners to work with. The area we are doing it in is Macheke. Um, we've managed to, to find a hectare too. We are, we are renting the land, we are not, it's not our own land. In the future we are also planning to have our own farm where we can plant hectares and hectares and hectares of this crop. So stay tuned. We'll give you feedback. Thank you very much.
Bye.